I have to go the other way, Patrick. You know, I'm Mr. Negative always. Uh, that's what Les what, gives me out. You didn't like what you saw last night? Well, I didn't like them taking him out. I know they're trying to protect him at the end of the year. Aren't you trying to get something out of the season? you got cargo going. Why, Patrick, he threw 73 pitches, leave him in for a couple more innings. He's got a one-hitter going against a team that, as I said, in a running for a postseason spot, trying to catch up with the Nats. Did it bother you at all? Or are you accepting of the fact they took him out after six innings? No, it bothered me, too, and I'll tell you why. I don't think this is on Walt Weiss. I know a lot of people are upset. I think it comes from above Walt. I get, I get the pitch count. I get limiting the innings. I get that they'll likely shut him down probably early September. I get all of that. Most major league teams are doing that now. Uh, Matt Harvey of the Mets, before he had Tommy John. I understand that. It's a different era than the Bob Gibson, Don Drysdale era. I understand the long term. But my point of view last night was put him back out there for one more inning. What difference is 12, 15 pitches going to make? You're, wanting, you're talking about wanting to develop a guy? Okay, put him in even more heat on the big stage. Test him a little bit. Don't baby him so much. So, big scheme of things, I get the pitch counts and wanting to protect his arm. He's the future of the franchise. But for me, what kind of message are you sending him? What kind of message are you sending the other players on the team when you take him out on an arbitrary pitch count when he's throwing so well, give it to a crappy bullpen, and essentially say, okay, well, we lost a game, but at least we protected John Gray. Well, it, bothered, it bothered me a lot.